this is a band separator for TV receiver uh, this is the VHF input and the UHF input and this is the mix output and should be plugged on the back of your TV uh, the purpose of this is if you have two different antennas one is for VHF only and the other is for UHF only you can plug them both at the same time this is the VHF input and this is the UHF input and they should not be switched and on the VHF input it allows the VHF to pass while blocking the UHF while in the UHF input it does the opposite allowing the UHF to pass while blocking the VHF if you have one antenna that's capable of receiving on both VHF and UHF then do not use this band separator because if you do when you connect it into a VHF input you can only receive a VHF signal because the UHF is blocked or if you connect it to a UHF input you can only receive a UHF signal and the VHF is blocked so this band separator should only be used if you have two different antennas one is for VHF only and the other is for UHF only you can connect them both at the same time and this output should be plugged on the back of your TV and this is actually useful if you happens to be in a location where the location of a VHF transmitter is different from a UHF transmitter which means that your VHF antenna should face in a different direction as a UHF because if you're using a single antenna that's capable of receiving both VHF and UHF depending on, on your location and some locations which means that if you face your antenna towards a VHF transmitter the UHF signal is compromised because they're in a different location while if you turn your antenna to face it to a UHF transmitter it's a VHF signal is compromised because like I said if you happens to be in a location where the VHF transmitter and UHF are, are facing in a different direction so this band separator will solve the problem so what you need is a VHF only antenna that face towards a VHF transmitter and an, another UHF only antenna that's face to a UHF transmitter and you can connect them both at the same time and like I said the VHF antenna should be connected to the VHF in and the UHF antenna should be connected to the UHF in they should not be switched 